In this video, we are going to discuss exercise on sampling techniques. So, in the previous video, we have discussed that what is a sampling technique and what are the different ways in which we can do the sampling. So, one of the way was your random sampling where a subject was selected from the population by chance. Another one was our systematic sampling where the kth element of the population will be selected for the sampling. Next, we had our uh, stratified sampling where the population will be divided into certain stratas, certain groups depending upon some attribute and then we shall select some of the members from each strata and group and that will produce the sampling uh, population that is a sampling. So, next one we are having the uh, cluster sampling where a particular population will be divided into certain number of groups or clusters and then after doing that division creation of the clusters then we shall be selecting some of the clusters and we shall take all the members of those clusters selected as the sample. So, there are four different ways we discuss that mainly the sampling can be done. So, here we are having some respective examples and we are going to suggest what kind of sampling we are going to apply there. Classify each sample as random, systematic, stratified or cluster. So, here we are having the problem number 1. In a large school district, all teachers from two buildings are interviewed to determine whether they believe the students have less homework to do now than in previous years. So, this is the respective problem we are, we are having. So, now here we are having multiple buildings for the respective a large school district, but we are selecting only two buildings and interrogating, interviewing all the teachers in those two buildings. So, obviously, it is a good example of cluster sampling. Every seventh customer entering a shopping mall is asked to select her or his favorite store. So, as we are going for the each seventh customer, so we can consider it as a good example of systematic sampling. Nursing supervisors are selected using random number of random numbers to determine annual salaries. So, now here we are using some random numbers to determine annual salaries. So, obviously, it is we are going to get the flavor of random sampling here. Every hundredth hamburger manufactured, manufactured is checked to determine its flat fat content. So, here we are having the hundred hamburger. So, to determine the fat content, so 100, so from there we are getting this idea that it is a good example of systematic sampling. Male carriers of a large city are divided into four groups according to gender, male or female and according to whether they walk or ride on their routes. So, then 10 are selected from each group and interviewed to determine whether they have been bitten by a dog in the last year. So, here we are having four groups and we are taking some of the members from each group and then we are going for the interviewing. So, that is it that means it is a good example of our cluster sampling. So, we have taken five examples and we have discussed that how the sampling technique can be decided on them. Thanks for watching this video.